What's up guys? Welcome to your 172nd Android tutorial for the new Boston. Uh, what we're going to do is still work with this, you know, GL triangle example class. And all we've done so far is just basically set up a float, uh, you know, a list of floats and, you know, there's no relation to OpenGL or anything like that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up something called a float buffer. Because again, a few tutorials ago we used buffers and they just are a way that we can render stuff to the screen so we're gonna call this like our um, vertice vert buff maybe for our vertice buffers and we're basically gonna relate these vertices later and we want to set this again just to be a private variable private variable for now and again we have to add our imports and you know also for this class we're gonna need a constructor because again when we create an object we want to call a constructor and set everything up so that's what we're going to set up real quickly and this one's going to be public so other classes can use this constructor and again when we create a constructor it has to be the same name as our class name so triangle ex and this isn't going to have any parameters within it uh, we could probably grow on that later but uh, we're just going to set that up and within this triangle what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a vertex buffer and uh, and a byte buffer because the byte buffer is going to tell our application how much you know space we're using, how many kilobytes or bytes that we're using, and for each float that we use, that takes up four bytes. So our float list here has six uh, different floats within it. So we're going to have to locate 24 bytes within our our buffer. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our byte buffer. Um, I know it's kind of confusing, maybe a little bit for now, but um, we're just going to set up that byte buffer. We're going to call this bbuff. Going to set this equal to the byte buffer class, and use the method dot of locate direct. And again, we just have to. It takes an int of the capacity that we're going to be using. So again, like I said, it's 24. But in case we add, you know, more vertices to this float array, uh, we want to, you know, be able to handle that and tell our you know update our byte buffer and say hey we're using more memory than just 24 so we're gonna relate to our, our list that we created called vertices and we're just gonna say dot length and that's gonna return how many floats are within our list and as for now there's six so uh, that's gonna be six and for each float we use four bytes so we're just gonna times this by four so that's basically telling our buffer you know this is how much we're using which is 24 bytes and then what we're going to do is we're going to set up the order uh, within our byte buffer and so we're just going to say bbuff dot order and you can see as it takes within its parameters um, a byte order so we're going to click that one and all we're going to say is our, we're going to relate to the byte order class so byte order and we're just going to say dot native order and you know that's just going to give us the native order um, for a byte byte buffer. So now what we need to do is we need to relate to this vertice buffer and you know kind of make the connection as well. So we're just going to say vert buffer or vert buff I should say, and we're going to set this equal to our byte buffer, which we call bbuff dot as float because there's different types of you know. Uh, stuff that we or lists that we can have within a buffer, but since we're using floats, we're going to use this as a float buffer. And I spelled vert buff wrong, sorry. So set that up, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to say uh, we need to put our list within this vertice buffer. Um, so it knows that we're working with floats as for now, and we're just going to say vert buffer or vert buff dot put, and then we have to put our float array in there which we called vertices and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna relate to our vert buff and tell it what position we want to start so vert buff dot position and we're gonna start at position 0 or the top of our triangle so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I know it's kinda of confusing as of now but uh, it will it'll sink in uh, what we're actually doing in the next few tutorials but I'll catch you guys then and have a good one